hopefully when I get married, I'll have you write my speech for me, for my wife. <laughs> that was really good. No, my name is uh, Mike Dusso. I am the founder of The 1% Mindset. I believe that everything starts from the shoulders up before it starts from the shoulders down. And I heard that you guys are into your last week of graduation, before graduation, correct? Right. Last week, so you guys went through an entire program. You guys should be pumped, excited. You guys should have all the tools equipped to ready and ready to start a business. So today I thought about it. I thought about the theme and I said, the best thing to, th the best thing to speak to you guys about is are you that one? Are you that one? And I want you to think, really think about it. I believe that inspiration, we all have majors in inspiration but minors in wisdom, right? We don't, we get all pumped and excited to, you know, do something and as soon as we leave the door, it kind of goes away. So when Mike told me, he was like, yeah, I kind of want you to motivate them. I was like, yeah, I can pump them up, but what happens after you guys leave here? What happens the minute you guys graduate? So here's the reality. Actually, before you think about the reality, if you look to your left and you look to your right, right? If you don't have anybody to your right, pretend somebody's to your right. Um, but look, if you look to your left and you look to your right, Within two years, if everyone started a business here, one person's not gonna be in business within two years. That's the reality. The reality is within two years, one of those people aren't gonna be in, that, in business. Within 10 years, if you look to your other side, that other person's not gonna be in business. That's the reality. The reality is 70% of businesses fail within the first 10 years. So why are you that one person? Why are you that one person that's going, that's going to survive in business. What makes you unique? What makes you special? What is it? You have to think about why, why are you actually doing this? So I was doing, I was doing some research and before I did this research, I remember I, was, I saw this beautiful young lady a couple years ago and I was like, no, I need to talk to her. I was like, she's, she's amazing. So I went and I spoke to her and she told me, she said, you know, I'm, I'm a lot to deal with. I said, okay, like most women, cool. No big deal. <laughs> she, and then she said, why are you that one person that I should talk to? So I thought about it, I was like, all right, you know, and I had some chapstick on, I was like, you know, my lips look great, Aaron's was in, like, you know, I felt pretty good. I was like, I have a great personality, I'm a little handsome, right? Yeah, I'm a little handsome, a little bit, okay, so I was, like, I'm, I was like, I'm that guy, right? I said, I'm that guy. Um, and she said, it's not easy, it's not easy for you to be that one, the, the person that's gonna be there for me, mentally, spiritually, financially. It's not that easy. How are you going to be that person? How are you going to be that one? So I said, I wanna take on the challenge, absolutely. So I talked to her for a little bit, you know, a month goes by, things are okay. By the three month mark, I was like, yo, this is crazy. <laughs> I, like, I, can't, I can't talk to you, this is too much work. And I want you guys to think about that in business, right? So the first month or so where you guys are pumped, but what happens when you hit a little roadblock? What happens then? How, how are you gonna feel once you get you know, a couple no's or someone's not super pumped to buy your product? What happens then? Right? Are you willing to invest in all aspects, in all areas? I know some of you guys I was speaking to, and I'm, I'm extremely excited to speak to you guys because I see so many uh, different, different genders, different age groups, and I was speaking to a friend, and I like to give really practical things. I was speaking to someone, and they told me, they said, you know, I think I'm a little too old to start a business. I said, wow, a little too old. So, I don't know if you guys are, are familiar with uh, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, anybody? <laughs> oh, you guys heard of it? Okay, me too. All right, cool, <laughs> so we're in the same place. So, I spoke to, and I, I, I'm very familiar with the story of Colonel Sanders and how he founded KFC. So I told them the story, and for those of you who don't know, uh, the Colonel, he founded KFC. There's, I, I'll break down the story. So at 40, he founded, like he had his secret, uh, his secret chicken recipe, and he had, he had a service station where he sold the chicken. They rerouted the highway, he went out of business. At the age of 60, at the age of 60, I'm gonna say it again, at the age of 60, he decided to go door to door, knock on people's door, go to restaurants to try to, to franchise out his chicken because he was flat broke. At the age of 60, he was willing to knock on doors. He was willing to get in the door. He went through, it's according to, you know, they call it like an urban legend, but he went through, he had a thousand plus no's before someone finally decided to give him a chance. 
a thousand notes. Some people get upset after 10. You know, someone's someone selling cookies and someone says, yeah, I don't want to buy your cookies. Like, oh, forget you then, you know? I don't want so you have to have some kind of, you have to have thick skin in business. That's the reality, right? So again, I'm, I'm, I don't want to motivate you here. I want to give you the reality of the situation. Why are you that one? Are you willing, if, and some of you guys are working jobs and trying to start your business on the side, are you that one person that's willing to stay up late? to work on your business and get up early? Are you that one person that's willing to kind of put blinders on? You see, because when you're in business, you kind of go into isolation mode, right? Where nothing matters anymore. People are gonna say, hey, let's go out, let's hang out, or let's, you know, let's go to the mall, let's go shopping. And you have to be comfortable to say, it's not what I want to do. I'm so focused, I'm so laser focused with what it is that I want to do. Because in order for you to be that one, person that survives, you have to have that laser focus. It's something that's, that's in there mentally, right? You, it starts up here, and then you obtain the wisdom in order to grow and, and to build from there. So, I wanna impart on you a few things before I go through. I know you guys have stuff to do, it's Sunday, you know, guys wanna hang out, we're trying to go to the movies later, cool, whatever. Um, <laughs> But I really want, want to impart on you a few things. When you're, when you're willing to kind of step in, you know, step into what it is that you want to do, whether that's start a business, and everyone here wants to start a food business, that means you guys have some kind of talent or some kind of skill set within the food industry. If that's something that you want to do, that you're looking to do, you have to be, be willing to go all in. You have to be willing to make sacrifices. You have to be willing to know the reality of the situation. And the reality is if everyone here started a business, within 10 years, 70% of you will not have that business anymore. You've gone through, was it 12, 16 weeks? 12 weeks? You guys gone through 12 weeks of intense training, learning about different areas of business. And you guys should be pumped, you guys should be excited. You guys should be <coughs> ready to go out there and take it on. But you have to figure out why you're that one person when you look to your left and look to your right and no one's there. What makes you that one person when you look in the mirror and realize that no one is, no one is there but me? I want you guys to really take that in and think about it. There's a certain level of, I call it beastness, right? Because that's got to be a beast, right? So that you have to have in order to obtain success in anything. There's a certain level, and if you're not willing to, to make the sacrifices and be willing to make that change, then you know, it's hard to be that Colonel Sanders, right? A little fun fact about KFC that I didn't know is it's actually the second largest fast food franchise in the world. Second largest for a guy that founded something at basically 60 years old, who's willing to continue to grind and go after his dreams and didn't take no for an answer. Right? KFC's everywhere. I was in Dubai and I saw KFC, I was like, yo, I'm gonna get a two piece. Like, <laughs> right? I did that. I, I saw KFC in Dubai, right? But that's exact, it took that level of commitment. Right? So be excited, be encouraged that you guys went through this program. You guys have all the amazing tools um, that the JBA staff and Michael and everyone gave you, but you have to execute on, execute on it. You have to utilize it. You have to use it. So, yes, motivation is great. Inspiration is great. I can get you pumped up. I can get you excited. But I can't give you the heart to execute. I can't, I'm not going to be there when things get hard. No one's going to be there when things get hard. That's something you have to look at in the mirror to realize, are, are you going to be that one? Or are you going to let somebody else take that on? And that's really important. So, don't take too much of your time. Thank you guys so much. Um, I hope that was good. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I want to give a quick disclaimer. Uh, the very, very back row, of, if, you really, if you look back there, um, these are all amazing people that's had some sort of uh, impact or inspiration like to me. They're, they're at, so they came out to support me, so I definitely, definitely appreciate you guys. Back there.
and yeah, so I, and I also, I am a part of the Queens Library staff as well. I do a lot of work within Queens Library, um, teaching different classes uh, throughout, typically the school year. So uh, it's good to be here, man. I'm really excited. I'm really pumped for you guys. I really, you know, want to make sure that once you guys have these tools, you take them and you implement them and you do something with it. It's, it's no, it's, it's easy to get inspired. It's easy to get the information. Executing is what's hard. Executing is what's hard. And once you do execute, you have to continue to remain inspired and figure out why it is that you're doing what you're doing. Because money won't come right away. That's the reality. So if you're doing it for money, it's not gonna come right away. You're going to invest in a lot of time, energy, to get what you want off the ground. You have to be willing to do that in order to kind of push forward. So uh, again, thank you, Michael. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And I wish you guys the best. Oh, and he, Mike also told me I do a horrible job of um, promoting myself. Um, I don't know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I have an album that's on iTunes, that's on Spotify, all these great places. Uh, it's called The 1% Mindset Presents You Versus You. And it's basically a tool uh, for people, um, wherever you are in your life, that basically motivates, inspires, and pushes you to move forward. And uh, it's helped a lot of multiple people uh, throughout the process. And you know, it's something that you guys can definitely take a listen to, to get pumped up, to get motivated. But just really, at the end of the day, make sure you execute and get it done. You have all the tools to be great. Make sure you're that one person that makes it happen. So thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Thank you.